If you're trying to complete your Sands of Time challenges for the MCC Cape server, then consider this your full guide. We're going to be doing a complete run of the Sands of Time minigame, clearing out every single room, getting every sand, chest, and pile of gold that there is. So let's start up a new game, shall we? Now there's a lot of parkour in this game. That's basically what the entire thing is. So you need to get good at your jobs, otherwise you're going to be wasting a lot of time. And once you've ran through this place a few times, you will get good at all of your jumps. You'll start to memorize the place on your own. Now, in the lobby, there is a lot of sand and a lot of coins. This is a good place to clear right off the bat. That way you have a lot of extra time to, you know, work with. Now, I missed the jump, but there is a, a sand right up in that room. And then we're going to hop up on top of this ladder. There's another sand right there. Now, most of the time, you can skip fighting the mobs because they're not really important. Unless you're going for an absolute world record, uh, you don't really need to fight them. But sometimes, they will shoot you and then you'll fall down and it's kind of annoying. And you'll waste a couple seconds. So, there's that. Now, this is the first key that you're going to be getting. That goes to this chest right here where there's two more coin piles. We're going to hop on down this way and head into this direction. So, there is a pile of coins right beyond this lamp. Now, we're going to head down and we're actually going to go up this ladder. We'll come back for that chest that's down there in just a moment because we need the key for it. We're going to get that pile of coins right there and then hop across to get this pile of sand. Hop on back in this direction. You might need to go up the vines, and then we're going to do the parkour to get all of the sand and coins that are up here. So, piece of sand right there. We're going to head up and do this little jump, pile of coins, get your golden key, and then we're going to head over in this direction. You don't actually need to go across those chains because you can just jump up right here. There is another pile of coins right there. And then there is a little jump through the window that you can do. You don't need to do the jump, though, because you can just, like, walk into this room. Now we need to go a couple doors down. You need to press the button on that wall. That's going to give you the three blocks out right here. That way you can get those sand and those coins. And then we're going to get the sand and this coin right here. Now we're basically done in this area. So we're going to go back to the main room over here where there is a little secret area. It's not a super secret, but you need to stand on this pressure plate. That's going to pop up the stairs for just a couple seconds. And then we can run up here, get that sand, and get those coins. Now we can hop on out of here and head into this kind of cave area. R immediately to the right, there's a couple sand and a couple coins. And then you need to hop down to get this coin right here. Now we're going to run back up around. Watch out for the skeletons. They will shoot you off of this thing. So make sure you got your jukes enabled. And then we're going to head into this room. That's nothing down there. That's actually the way out. We're going to grab that sand. Press this button, fall down, get those two guys, and head on out of here. So this is the exit. You can just go left immediately and get on out of this place. Uh, we need this green room down here. So grab your sand. You can avoid the mobs if you feel like it. because They don't really do that much damage. Then we're going to get our diamond key, and we're basically done in this entire left side now. You can do the parkour up in there if you want, but there's no real reason to... Now, we're actually going to head back down the ladder that we came up because we have the key for this chest down here now. So, go ahead and grab those two things. Watch out for the mobs in the water. They will knock you off and it will be annoying. So, go ahead and hit all three of those and you should be good to head on out of here. We're just going to go up the stairs and get on out of this place. So, that is the entire right side completely done. And now we have the diamond key, which we'll use later on in the dungeon. So, now we're going to head straight, which is this place right here. And we're simply going to turn left immediately, grab that sand, do the blob of parkour, grab our golden key, and head back out of here. Now, we're going to head across these logs right here. And to the left, there is a sand. Bam, grab that one. This doorway also has two sand right there. And then in here, we're going to be using our golden key. You actually want to drop down immediately because there's another sand and another gold. And now you can just jump on down here. So there's going to be a sand right there. And this room immediately to your left, there's also going to be another two sand. And of course, some gold. Now we can head into this little corridor down here where there's a bunch of stuff. One sand on the right, nothing on the left. And to this room, we have a key right here that we'll need in a moment. And then we're going to head up to this little water stream. This is going to give you some more armor. And then at the top of this is also another sand. So that gives you the iron pants. We'll get the iron chest plate a little bit later on. We're going to head up into this area right here. And then we're going to grab the sand and coin that is in this room. There's nothing in that room right there. But in this room, we have two sand. We'll get those on the way back out. Go into here. 
And now we're going to grab this chest, coin, and sand. So we use the key that we grabbed earlier. Now that we're heading back out, you can head to the left, grab that sand, and head to the right, grab that one, and then you can just jump right on across this thing. And now we're basically done with that side. We need to turn right coming out of here, and this is another big room. You're gonna have a couple pillagers and guys in here that wanna shoot at you. We're just going to ignore all them and jump right up these stairs. Now we can head over to the sand, do a little bit of parkour right here, and now we're gonna be using our diamond key. So go ahead and open up that chest right there. We can actually go back across this way because we need to get another sand and another pile of gold. So as you can see, we got gold and sand. You want to drop down into this room right here, gold and sand. And now there's usually a guy right there that's always going to shoot at you. But we're just going to jump past him because there's another sand right here in this room that we're going to grab. So now we can head out of here and that is basically this entire side done. There's not really anything else over here. So just head on back. You can follow the portal markers because that'll take you back to the main room. And then of course on your way out you're going to get another sand and another gold pile. But that's pretty obvious. So that is the front way done. Now we're going to head out to the left doorway which is this one right here. As soon as you get in here you need to head left. We're going to jump across this. Grab our key. Jump down. And then try not to fall into lava. You need that iron key immediately. You're going to jump in here. Get that sand. Two golds and a chest. And then we're going to head down the corridor. So we're going to jump into this little room right here. Beat up that skeleton real quick. You want to grab that sand, press the button, head out of here because that button opens up this room with the door. Now, I don't think there's anything in here besides one little sand. We can speed up that skeleton again. So now we're going to head into this room right here. This one has a dying zombie and also a chest plate and a sand. You're going to want that chest plate because in the next room, you're going to be getting a bunch of evokers. This is a good place to actually farm yourself with some coin just from, you know, the dying mobs. Either way, as you can see, we got a sand right here. Uh, for this room, you really do have a lot of problems. So we're going to pick up that sand and then you just want to loop all the way across this entire room. Now, we will come back for that chest. We just need to get the key for it, and that's actually a little bit further down the hall. So we're going to go out to here. We're going to jump all the way down the corridor until you get to the lava. Parkour across that. Pick up that iron key real quick, and then we're going to head on back. Now, we're not going to head straight there. We're going to turn left, pick up this sand, pick up our two gold right here, and then we're going to turn left. Now, this is probably the most difficult parkour in the entire place, and I'm going to breeze through it real quick just to make you feel bad about your parkour skills. Oh, no! Ah, oh, jeez. I actually did an oopsie. That's the first time I've ever failed. Ah, oh, man, I, I did a little bit too much of a subtle brag. I'm so sad. Am I going to die? I can survive this. I can survive this. There we go. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Now, if you do fall, you can actually get out of here just by, you know, kind of crouching and walking out of here very slowly. There is actually a ladder on the very edge. Right in. Let's do that a little bit more proper, shall we? So this is the place where you're going to be getting the netherite key. You definitely want to get that because that netherite chest gives you 400 gold. And, like, that's, you know, kind of a few. You definitely want to get that. Doing the parkour on the way out is also fairly easy. I've never failed that either, but here we are. First time for everything. We're going to jump over this and go back into the main kind of like throne dungeon room. And now we have the iron key that we need for that chest. And we can just head on out of here. So that is the entire left side of the dungeon down. And now we have just one final room to go into. So go ahead and walk back into the main room. And now we're going to do this entire side right here. You want to turn right immediately, and we're going to head into this tiny little room right here. There's a tiny bit of parkour that you need to do. This one always trips me up a little bit because these fences are in the way. But you can jump across, get a sand, and get a coin. And now we're going to jump down into this area. The first thing that you want to do is grab the sand from right here. We're going to head up the stairs, and then we're going to get the gold pile that is right here. Now we're going to head back across this place, and we're just going to go for this parkour. This one seems difficult, and it's an instant death if you fail, but I've never failed it because that's just how good I am. Now, if we walk around this corner, uh, you can see there's one more gold. There's also a little bit of parkour that you can do to get up into this room right here, because there's a sand and a pile of gold. Personally, I've never done it. It doesn't really seem worth it, because it's kind of a lot of parkour for not much reward. 
Now, if you head up these stairs, there's a pile of gold right here. There's also a sand down below and a bunch of guys that will want to kill you. We're going to hop up here, get our netherite chest, and then we're actually going to go back to the beginning of this because there's some stuff down below that we want to get. There is a gold pile and then there's also a sand. Now, the evokers give you quite a few gold so you can farm them if you want. This is the only other area that you'll be getting evokers. Now, that's a really bad place for a pillager, so we will just, uh, you know, beat up that guy real quick. Now, as you can see, there's a sand and two gold piles down here. You might not want to worry about coming down here. It might not be worth your time, but if you have some time to spare, you can do it. We're going to head back up the ladder and then get on out of this place. So to get out of here, we're simply going to hop across this little bridge and then fall down. And this is the last area that we have not explored. There's a time right there. We're going to head immediately left and then jump down this little area. Don't fall down there. You'll take a lot of damage. So you just want to hop down these little rails. Two sand, a key, and some coins is all you're going to get from this. We will need that key in a moment, though. And these are the stairs to jump out of here. Now we're going to head into this little lower area where you can get yourself that next chest. Just jump in here, grab all that stuff, and we are good to go. Now we're going to head to the left and go back up these little stairs right here. I'd recommend doing the parkour on the right. This one seems a little bit easier. Of course, I fail this time because I'm recording, but you know what? It's just how it goes. That's the, that's the YouTube curse. Anyway, we're going to jump across here and get this sand. You want to keep jumping across so that we can get this pile of gold right here. And that's basically it for this room. And then we have the doorways right here on this left middle one. There is a sand. And then there's also like two piles of gold on these doors. I forget exactly which ones they are, but it might be like this one. Yep, there's a pile of gold on that one. It's, it might be worth it if you have the time to spare to go in there. You might be able to do that. Uh, but otherwise, we are running out of time, and we are actually right back at the beginning here. So we have 2,200 gold, and that was actually a pretty decent run. Only a couple of minor mess-ups, but that is the entire dungeon of, uh, you know, Sands of Time completely done. And we got a new high score as well.